Hello guys, this is Vikas and welcome to my channel and welcome to the 11th video of Terraform series and in today's video I will uh, I will be demonstrating about dynamic block with for each loop for each so uh, think of a scenario like uh, uh, let me go through uh, one of the security group section and let me walk you through one uh, if you see here see here you have ingress and here you have egress rule right correct so you can see here there is just one block right and if we want multiple for the production or the testing or the dev environment then what we will do right we have to allow multiple ingresses at that time correct so what we will do we do not have any option that is a very critical scenario so what we will do we will make use of this dynamic block means we will make this block itself a dynamic right so let's go ahead and let's see in the lab like how we can make use of it let me copy this block so this is a very best scenario of using dynamic block okay so this is our code let me close all the okay so let me remove this as well okay okay so here aws security group okay this need a vpc id right here aws vpc dot main dot id so this seems correct so it is getting attached uh, it is getting attached to the vpc that is fine but our scenario is here like we have to uh, use multiple ingresses rule right so how we will use so that is very simple quite simple like you will write here so let's make a list of set of variables uh, we are going to use inside this ingress right so multiple values right now our task is to pass so let's go ahead and let's declare a variable of map of object type okay let me do here itself variable what is what will be the name aws security group okay this seems fine what is the type of the value that is map of object type equals to map of inside this a small braces should be open and inside the small braces there should be a curly braces then hit enter and here only you are going to write these all things whatever you require right so right now i don't need this right let me comment this as well so once here your block is fine okay so that is okay so now let's go ahead and let's write the things whatever is written here we will define the same here so we, you can uh, take a different name as well not a problem so here you have to provide what type of values you will use that is a type of string okay description is done one is port so you can see from port and to port both are exactly same you can define here as well right different different but in my case both are same i want to take both as the same so i will define just one so i will just write this port equals to uh, anything let's take a uh, string that is not a type of string let's take it as a number as well okay and now port is done now we have to define the protocol protocol equals to what protocol is right seems to be a string okay that is fine and now the last one is CIDR blocks CIDR block is what it is a list of it seems to be a list of string right okay so once this is done you will go ahead and you will just type default and hit enter you will get the overall structure like this right now our task is to pass all the values so here cidr block what do you want to pass let's pass the by default one that is this take this itself okay let's go ahead and let's copy paste here what the description you want to provide like this is uh, this is let's see there is a tls rule any description for your 
convenience so what is the port number you want to provide here that should be let's say 80 and what is the protocol you want to uh, follow that comes under tcp so this is one block is done and here the make sure that you are writing this as a unique so in our case let's take make this as unique as per this port number if this is done uh, let's go ahead and let's create one more here okay this time it should be for 443 this is for rdp right and rdp comes under tcp itself so no problem tls rule 2 and tls rule 1 okay what we have to change here that number 443 so once this is done now our task is to how we can write this uh, how we can make use of this here right so you have to write here dynamic you have to start from dynamic and here you have to provide the name of uh, the resource which you are going to make it uh, as a dynamic so in my case i am going to make it this increase as a dynamic so let's go ahead and you have to do like this and here what you have to do here you have to write the for each so that you can take the values of map of object one by one so var dot what was the name we have provided here that is aws sg let's take it let's go ahead and paste it and here the most important thing inside our content content block you have to write everything so make sure that right you have wrote it correctly once this is done let's mm. so this is done now what you have to do take your all block from here mm. control x we don't need that right now okay so once this is done now task is to how we will provide this variable values here to here right so that is very simple you just have to start from this whatever the name you have provided for the dynamic that is ingress itself right so just copy the name dot value dot what your this what is the first value that is description right just take the same name go here and just paste it right so make sure that you are getting the value from this for each loop right and this ingress ingress is helping you to create multiple things at the same time so in the same way let me go ahead and do this as well ingress dot value dot that we have set port right port i think for both we have set port okay this is fine let's copy the same and paste here and now this is the protocol section okay and what is the name of the protocol we have said the same name we have proto okay so protocol done now we have to pass the list of a string that is our CIDR block so let's copy this value let's go ahead and let's ingress dot value dot this CIDR block so once this is done we are getting some issues right okay let me comment this okay so this is the way right you have done three steps you have done okay first thing what you have done you have declared a map of object for that if you don't know how to write a map of object please watch out my previous video so that you will have a better understanding instead of coming here okay so once the you have defined these all things a map of object variable you have created second task what you have to do you have to create this dynamic and the name you are providing here that should ma match with the actual actual name okay once this is done inside the third thing you have to run the loop so that you can take each and every value right okay once this is done make sure that you're writing everything inside a content block right 
so if this is done let's go ahead and let's try to a plan let's see if any issue comes we will solve it okay so we got some issue like this where dot vpcs has not been declared let's go to the ninth line okay okay so sorry for that so let me remove the unnecessary things that is also not at all required and here i'm going to provide the cidr block range and that is 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 slash 16 okay so once this is done let's go ahead and let's do plan okay so now this time you can see right so this is our plan has been successful let me go to the ingress rule section so this is our ingress rule section you can see here it is taking both of the ingress okay to port from port the name this description we have wrote that is tls rule 1 and TS rule, tls rule 2 that is okay okay so this is fine right so in that manner you can make dynamic these things right in the data form so this is going forward this is going to be very important so just make sure you are having a clear understanding of that so if you don't know how to use for each loop and how to variableize this whole thing and how to make dot a tf var file then watch out my previous video along with that how to de uh, declare this type of provider block okay so that also i have made a separate video for that okay that is only two or three minute video i think so you will have a better understanding of these all things so in the next video uh, we will do some and more, add more advanced concept of uh, apart from this so thanks for watching